Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for our weekly Oracle and Tarot card reading. And this reading will be from September 10th to the 16th, and we're using the Eternal Crystals Oracle cards. And this is a beautiful deck that I've had for a while. I've never used it. I don't know why. It kind of got lost in the shuffle. So we're going to use these cards for the first time today, continuing our theme of, of gems and crystals. Um, beautiful, beautiful energy so far from this deck. So let's get started with the reading. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. At the beginning of the week, we'll take a card from the top. Cinnabar. Okay. And middle. Take a card from the center. Pipestone Catlinite. Very interesting. And then the bottom for the end of the week. I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly. Chia Stolite. Okay, so I mean, we're starting off the week with these two red cards. It's just like such a bold energy. Red is just so courageous and powerful. And that's what I'm getting the energy to be the beginning of this week. And it's saying Cinnabar, Business Sacral Chakra. And it's a red crystal, gemstone. Okay, and let's see what the book has to say about this, because like I said, I have not experienced this deck, although I've owned it for at least a year. Uh, and it is saying, if you already have a job you love or a successful business, Cinnabar has shown up to let you know that there will be positive new energy and abundance coming for you in your career. If that doesn't apply to you, it may be time for you to become more persuasive and assertive in your career area. Get more organized so that you could focus clearly on the job at hand. If your job situation has changed and you are no longer working, remember that everything happens for a reason. You may think one door is closing, but another great door is opening for you. So yes, this is about your career, okay? Are you stuck in one of those humdrum nine to five jobs that pays the bills? Were you like me sitting at your desk thinking there's got to be more to life than this? I just can't do this anymore. Um, this is telling you to take the next step in your career. I'm not telling you to quit your day job, but this may be telling you. Maybe you're not in the right profession. Maybe you need to go job hunting to see if there's something better out there for you. Or maybe you're in a career where right now you deserve a promotion. This is telling you to go after it. So this is very courageous red energy. And this cinnabar, if you happen to have some of it, is a very good stone to have if you are pursuing more with your business or your career. And the next one is saying Ancestors Root Chakra, Pipestone, Catalanite. And again, it's a red gem. Okay, and let's see what the book says about this one because I've never seen that gem before. Looks very interesting. And it says here, your ancestors have been with you in many lifetimes, and they are here today to offer you strength and wisdom. You are not alone. Call upon them for help and guidance whenever you need it. Pipestone, also known as Catlinite, is a sacred crystal in Native American culture. It is carved into sacred pipes and used in other sacred objects. Pipestone is associated with the root chakra and is used to connect with your ancestors, great spirit, and to the earth. So very interesting. So this here is telling you that, you know, if you've ever wanted to contact your ancestors or maybe uh, pursue a study of maybe your past lives, this would be a great stone to work with. And then at the end of the week, Chia Stolite, a very interesting multidimensional stone. It looks like there's shades of gray, white, amber, yellow. And it's saying past loved ones, root chakra. Again, we have a card from our ancestors and now a card regarding our past loved ones. And let's see what the book says about this. So the book says, Chia Stolite has appeared to let you know how loved and protected you are by your past loved ones. They are always with you, constantly looking after you and your family. They wish for you to clear any feelings of sadness or guilt. It's time now for you to move forward and know that everything is going to be okay. 
Your past loved ones are trying to communicate with you to let you know that they are okay. They are very happy. They are sending you signs to confirm that they are still around you. How beautiful is that? You know, I, I, I truly believe that, that our past loved ones are able to look down upon us as we're going through, you know, our, our daily daily uh, chores, living our lives, you know. And I do feel a connection sometimes with my grandfather or my father. You could feel the energy surrounding you whenever you're having a bad day and you start thinking about them. You just feel like this, this comfort uh, coming over you. So anyone out there who has lost a loved one recently or has lost a loved one uh, a while back and you've always wondered if they're okay, because I know we always do, they are okay. They want you to be happy. They don't want you to feel sad or, or be mourning or grieving for them because they are doing fine and they're watching over us. They're watching over us as we go about our daily activities and I'm about to get a little teary-eyed here because I get very, very personal when I think about my father and grandfather that had passed. Um, I know that if they were here today, they would be proud of the person that I've become. And that's what I've always wanted to do was to make both of them proud because they were very, very important in my life. And, and they've shaped me into the person that I am uh, more than they'll ever know. Beautiful reading. If you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back.